G'day everyone. In this video I'd just like to run through um, how to set up your RC2HL board with the new Turner G8, well the old eight, Turner G8 channel receivers. Uh, new software on the board allows you to connect up with these receivers and um, I'll show you how to do that in this video. Okay, let's have a look at the RC2HL board first up. Okay. A few new additions to the design. Um, first up here you'll see uh, an output port A1, A2, A3, A4. That is simply um, a repeat of the receiver signals. So whatever is sent in on from channel 1 is split. Channel 1 signal goes to here to the um, onboard microcontroller and then it is split and is sent back up here to A1. So this port here is for connecting to any uh, additional sound module boards. Um, there's plenty of them available so you can just use those outputs to connect to uh, any of the other available sound module boards. Above that you'll see uh, two more jumpers, uh, well two more ports here, S1 and S2. They're the new switch ports for the RC2HL and I'll show them in operation shortly or maybe in the next video. Basically uh, switch one Typically you can connect a relay up to that and you can switch on anything you like. You can use it to switch on and off your headlights, you can use it to switch on and off your smoke machine for example. Switch 2, uh, on some versions that is a just a repeat of switch 1, you can use that too to operate a relay. But uh, most versions now of the Dual RX RC2HL, uh, switch 2 is used uh, as a reverse light. So whenever you throw the tank into reverse, this comes on. So if you attach your reverse light to switch 2, it'll automatically be operated for you. Okay, um, So that's uh, basically the extra functions there in a nutshell on the RC2HL board. Um, now let's have a look at the old 9X receiver. Okay, 8 channel receiver. Previously it uh, did not function with the 9, uh, RC2HL and the reason for that, and this is very important, the reason for that is that the outputs, in t well time-wise, okay, this uh, receiver output channel 1 first, the next signal output would be channel 3, then channel 2, then channel 4. So these receivers don't actually output channel 1, then channel 2, then channel 3, then channel 4. Channel 2 and 3 are reversed. Okay, so on these receivers it outputs channel 1, then it outputs channel 3, then it outputs channel 2, then it outputs channel 4. And that was the whole problem with these receivers at the start. So to combat this, okay, you just have to do a, a little a little funky little change to the uh, RC2HL to get it to operate. First up, on the RC2HL itself, you may notice here, hiding a bit of camouflage here, is that there is a jumper. Okay, If you are using the 8 channel receiver, you must have this jumper closed. Okay, so if you are using the six channel receiver, you simply, you know, open the jumper. Okay, and you could use the six channel receiver. But we're going to be using the eight channel receiver, so make sure that jumper position is closed. The next, and uh, probably, well, the most important thing is to remember how the signals are output from this receiver. Okay, one, three, two, and four. That is why the inputs on the RC2HL, rather than being labeled channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, they're labeled in 1, in 2, in 3, and in 4. So we want connected up here the signal that is output first, then the signal that is output second, the signal that is output third, and the signal that is output fourth. So when it comes to connecting up our 8 channel receiver, channel 1 is output first, so we connect up channel 1. Now that must go into input 1. Now, go to the next lead, channel 2. Okay, connect that up. Remember the signal wire is always the orange or the white wire, yellow wire. That goes to the top. So you should be seeing the yellow signal wire at the top here. Similarly on the RC2HL, the signal wire goes closest to the big uh, I see on the board. Now, channel 2. Now that's actually output 3rd, remember? So that must go into input 3 on the RC2HL. So make sure that goes into input 3. Okay, so channel 1, we miss channel 2 and go into input 3 for channel 2. So when it comes time to connect up channel 3, obviously, 
that must now go into input 2. Okay, so that is the hardest part of setting up the RC2HL with your 8 channel receiver. Doesn't get any more difficult than that. Channel 4 then goes into, surprise, surprise, channel 4. Okay, so all those connections are made. So we can uh, set this all up. Just put that there on my sticky pad and put the RC2HL here on my sticky pad. Now, very simple connection from the uh, RX18 unit of course, we take the cable that went to the old receiver board and we now plug it into our RC2HL board, just in this position up here, like so, okie dokie. Now I've got a few little extra units here, I've got the uh, recoil system and a pothead unit. Um, I'll have those connected up in the next video, but basically the program that runs on the 9X will operate your recoil servo automatically if you plug the recoil servo into channel 5. The pothead can be used to control your tank volume and if you connect that up to channel 6. Now that's all the programs that run on the 9X. You of course then still have channel 7 and channel 8 to plug in whatever you would like. Um, so you have quite a bit of control over your tank using this system. Okay, once we have it all set up, it's time to turn the system on. Now with any proper hobby style radio, you need to turn the radio itself on first. Okay. Once we turn the tank on, if everything is connected up properly, the indicator LED on the RC2HL will light and we are ready to start up. So let's just turn our tank on. There we go, and as you can see, the indicator light on the RC2HL has come on. So everything should be right to start. Okay, so now to turn our tank on, what we need to do is to turn on the tank using this switch here. Up, down. Okay, so that's turning on and off the tank, well, turning off. Same switch again turns the tank on and off. So I'll turn it on again. Once you've got your tank turned on, you can then run through um, all the functions of the tank. I haven't got anything connected up, so we can only use the sound. Um, test your machine gun. Cannon fire. Okay, those switches are assigned to the back there. They will also operate from uh, your lever here. forward, reverse, turret rotation, and gun elevation. Okay, so that's everything set up correctly using the 8 channel receiver and the uh, RC2HL. If we wanted to connect up those extra functions, of course, uh, as I said, channel 5 for the servo recoil, so we can just connect him up. So we just push him in there. Now when we fire the gun, automatically we'll have our recoil. Okay. So all that is automatically set up, programmed into the uh, 9X radio. As I said, for the volume control, we'll plug him into channel 6 and then you have to remove your old plug and uh, stick the new plug in of course the volume will go a bit crazy while this is occurring there we go oh, luckily we have the volume set as zero and now we slowly can turn the volume up or we can turn the volume off now using our radio rather than reaching down and connecting up to the tank. I think that's a good, that's one of my favorite features. Um, no one seems to agree with me, but uh, I love being able to turn the tank on and off at will using my radio. Okay, that's how simple setting up the uh, RC2HL board is with your nine channel receiver. Very simple when you use the uh, 9X. 
Um, you can use either the new 9XR or the old 9X, both do exactly the same thing. There is no difference whatsoever. Okay, thank you.